What's up, Prize Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and we haven't been able to put the new iPhone 6S through its paces, but it doesn't mean we can't throw it into the Prize Fight ring. It's a Prize Fight battle of the specs between Samsung's Galaxy S6 Edge and Apple's iPhone 6S, or what I like to call the battle of the specs. So let's start off with the tail of the tape. It's their weight and dimensions. The Galaxy S6 Edge design brings its unique curved off edges with Gorilla Glass 4 front and back with a metal frame. Its dimensions in millimeters measure in at 142.1, a width of 70.1, and it's barely thinner between the two phones at 7 millimeters with a weight of 132 grams. The iPhone success brings a stronger 7000 series aluminum body and a new reinforced glass, but a smaller one with a height of 138.3 millimeters, a width of 67.1, and it's thicker at 7.1 millimeters with a weight of 143 grams. Let's get to the screens. The Galaxy S6 Edge brings a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display with a higher resolution at 2560 by 1440 that absolutely destroys Apple with its top notch 577 pixels per inch. The iPhone 6S brings its 4.7 inch retina display at a lower 1334 by 750 resolution with a meager 326 pixel per inch density. The difference here, Apple's 3D touch pressure sensitive screen it's a potential game changer once developers get their hands on it, but that remains to be seen. On to the features. The S6 Edge brings a 64-bit Samsung Exynos Octa-Core processor with 3 gigs of RAM, while Apple brings their improved 64-bit A9 chip with 2 gigs of RAM inside. But the Geekbench benchmarks tell the story where the iPhone 6S beats out the S6 Edge in the single-core score 1811 to 1492, but then the S6 Edge powers through with its multi-core score performance at a ridiculous 5077 to the iPhone 6S's 4577, currently making the Edge arguably the fastest smartphone on planet Earth. Both phones feature fingerprint sensors. Apple has improved its Touch ID sensor to be twice as fast with its Apple Pay payment system continuing to gain momentum. Samsung's fingerprint sensor is improved, but still not as snappy as Touch ID, and Samsung Pay will start officially rolling out in September with support for older magnetic card readers. Now, the iPhone 6S also features Bluetooth 4.2, while the S6 Edge has Bluetooth 4.1. Now, let's talk camera. The iPhone 6S brings an improved 12 megapixel rear camera and still takes some of the best pictures with its autofocus, with Focus Pixels Tech and f2.2 aperture while playing catch up and finally getting 4K video shooting for the first time. The Galaxy S6 isn't playing around with a 16 megapixel rear camera with optical image stabilization. It shoots 4K video and has an even better f1.9 aperture that's still one of the best on any mainstream phone. Both phones are impressive, but we'll have to eventually compare them head to head. Now, Samsung's front facing camera brings a 5 megapixel shooter and a wide angle for selfies, while Apple steps up its FaceTime camera to 5 megapixels and uses its screen for a flash. Let's wrap things up with battery life. Both phones feature built in batteries, with the Galaxy S6 Edge bringing in an estimated 18 hours of talk time with its 2600 milliampere hour battery that also supports wireless charging compared to the 14 hours with the iPhone 6S's 1700 milliampere battery that still has to use a physical cable to charge. Samsung embraces built-in storage with 32, 64, and 128 gig options for the Edge, while the 6S comes in 16, 64, and 128 gig flavors. Pricing will always vary based on your region, carrier, and phone plan. So there you go, we've stacked up the major stats for you to consider, and yes, a phone is always more than just the specs, it's about the OS, its performance, and the ecosystem you prefer, but other than Apple's 3D Touch differentiator and its ecosystem benefits, the S6 Edge still brings a faster processor and longer estimated battery life. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time for another prize fight. Woo